So, Tangled the series, aka Rapunzel's Tangled Adventure, has been known among many as a hidden gem of the Disney Channel. With its incredible dedication to continuing the story of the world of the film, engaging new characters, deep lore, and bringing back all the original voice cast from the movie. But above all, people sing the praises of the songs from this show. The original songwriter and lyricist duo of Alan Menken and Glenn Slater from Tangled came back for the series, and they wrote some absolute bangers. With more room to tackle different genres and styles throughout, there's excellent variety, and everyone has their favorites. But today we're going to count down my top 10 favorite songs from the series. My sister's been asking me to make this video for like <laughs> at least a year now, so this one's for you, Rebecca. <laughs> To start us out at number 10, we have Let Me Make You Proud. Maybe I make things a mess, and maybe you're right to have doubts in me. As Varian's first song in the series, it stands out and makes a big impression for his character, as we truly get to know his internal struggle to earn his father's approval that he's wrestled with for such a long time. It's an anthem of his journey, with reflective verses and the bombastic, unmistakable chorus. I will make you proud. Even better than the main version of this song, though, is the reprise. I will make you proud. Get the answers and set you free. Don't you worry, whatever it might take, I'm finding a way. Notably more dramatic, it marks the start of Varian's turn to the dark side. You can feel the pain and anguish in every note sung here, and the storyboarding has a unique dramatic flair not seen elsewhere in the series. Hey. Well, hey. At number nine is the celebration anthem Stronger Than Ever Before. This song is just pure fun, an absolute bop of a musical number as Rapunzel, Eugene, and Lance celebrate their victory after returning to Corona and defeating the Separatists of Saporia. The bright and colorful visuals, upbeat vibe, and combination of voices make this one of the best songs in the series. Vocals of each verse pass off between characters and then combine later on to create some beautiful harmonies. This feels like a more fully formed version of one of the series' weaker songs through it all, and stands as the series' most triumphant celebration song. Number 8 is a very quiet and intimate song, one that allows Rapunzel and Eugene to reflect on where their relationship is in the season 2 premiere, Beyond the Corona Walls with Rapunzel having expressed negative feelings stumbling upon Eugene planning to propose. When I let him walk away, what if I had spoke instead? Why did I go on concealing the confusion I was feeling? With Eugene locked up and supposedly set to marry his ex, Rapunzel laments that she didn't react differently in this beautiful tune. This is one of my favorite duets in the show, with such a somber tone that isn't afraid to explore the regret Rapunzel and Eugene share. If I could take that moment back. If I could turn back time, I would. If we could make a brand new start. I'll admit this one took a while to grow on me, but now it's impossible for me to deny that it's one of the show's best. Wish I could take it back, but now it's gone for good. And here we have Wind in My Hair coming in at number seven. I got the wind in my hair and a song in my heart and the fun's only starting. This song. It's such a bop. As far as Rapunzel's solo numbers go in the show, this one takes the cake and runs with it and eats it too, and is absolutely deserving of its use as the show's main theme. There's something really inspiring about this song that just makes you want to get out and do things, explore the world, 
and to know that life still has so many adventures in store. And in that, it perfectly encapsulates Rapunzel's main desire throughout the series, to explore the world and try new things after being trapped in the tower for so long. And everything life ought to be, it's all gonna happen to me out there. Oh, and the reprise of the song is also incredible, mixing a little bit of the life after Happily Ever After in there as well. Those high notes, pop off, Mandy. Shorty's version can't even compete. Where am I be? Ah, number six. I'm gonna get murdered in the comments for this placement. Believe me, I know I've sunk pretty low, but whatever I've done, you deserve. Very and quiet. Let's be real. This is the song that put this show on the map for the general public, inspiring countless fan animatics crossing over with just about every other franchise in existence. From Jeremy Jordan's melodious voice carrying the first verse and chorus of the song to the combination of voices as the Tangle Gang prepares for the fight, this song is perfect. Are you ready? I'm ready! We're ready! We're ready! Ready as I'll ever be! It's intense. It has that feeling of anticipation, not knowing how the fight is going to turn out, with a bit of dark flair. Everyone agrees Eugene should have had a bigger part in the song, though. But I don't think you can deny that this is the most climactic song in the show, weaving together the various arcs and positions of the cast flawlessly while setting up the final battle. And Varian's final line is absolutely iconic. The series finale wishes it had a song this good. Ready as I'll ever be. This next entry is one of the show's biggest musical shifts. Buddy. You're my best buddy When things get naughty, naughty. You're always there mon frère. Buddy's song is the one Lance and Eugene duet we got in the series and it was absolutely worth the wait. With a very jazzy, upbeat feel, this song is full of the most fun and random rhymes imaginable as Eugene and Lance basically have a drug trip disguised as a flower hallucination. Buddy, you're my best buddy The visuals are so chaotic and colorful, and this is an absolute joy to watch and catch all the details. And this harmony section just might be my favorite musical beat in the entire show. So buddy, no matter what the fates arrange, you're my best buddy, but don't ever change. This one is just a blast to listen to, with the way Zachary Levi and James Monroe Englehart play off each other being what puts it so high on my list. You're my best buddy. The next stop on this countdown is Next Stop Anywhere. I wanna show all the stars how stars ought to shine. I wanna do is a please and knock the world to its knees and go wherever the breeze is blowing. What an incredible opening to season two. There's so much to love about this song, but my favorite thing is the structure. It starts by exploring Rapunzel and where she is, and then having Eugene join in as they sing about their journey together, and then letting the final verse pass around the lyrics between the whole trio. Got a feeling things will be happening suddenly. Next stop, anywhere. Gonna chase my destiny, find my destiny. Next stop, anywhere. It's quite a lengthy song for this series, and one that I've had stuck in my head dozens of times. And I couldn't talk about this song without talking about the incredible reprise between Eugene and Rapunzel. It's truly triumphant and perfectly captures how excited they are to move forward with their relationship in addition to the journey ahead. Who cares how dark it'll be cause I've got you. You got me. So, so let's go see where, where this whole thing's going. Next stop anywhere. And where I'm supposed to be with you close to me. With such gorgeous visuals of the landscape outside Corona, a catchy beat, and a sense of grandeur and new beginning, this song earns its spot as number four. And the world I feel it waiting With new adventures to share Everywhere 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 All right, we're in the top three. Coming in third place is With You By My Side. Somehow we've managed to make it this far 
It's been one heck of a ride. Found at the end of season two as the group nears the Dark Kingdom, this song is the last glimmer of good times between the show's classic trio before Cassandra goes dark. And that's what makes it great. The song doesn't really try to be anything grand, it's just one last glimpse of these characters together enjoying life, jumping through the landscape before facing their destiny. The harmonies are what make this song. The combination of Rapunzel, Cass, and Eugene's voices is gorgeous, and it's on full display here. Why not go out in a glorious place? Cause now, now more than ever, we're still here together, united. The song is really simple and beautiful, but still has a great build, creating anticipation for the final battle ahead. Absolute perfection. What in the world would I do? Without you, without you, by my side. Here we are with number two. I hear my cue, and yet I'm kept there waiting. I don't think anyone in their right mind would disagree that this song is one of the show's highlights. After all, it won the Emmy that got Alan Menken his EGOT. Waiting in the Wings is such a beautiful I Want song for Cassandra, and is one of the most intimate character moments in the entire series. As Cassandra sings about feeling constantly set aside, the ghosts of soldiers and knights past surround her. This song has a power not found in many other songs in the series, as it starts quiet, then slowly but surely building until Eden Espinosa reaches her most passionate verse of the song, leaving you absolutely stunned. Well, I can't keep on The shots in this song have such incredible gravitas, the vocals are gorgeous, the lighting is poignant, and taken out of context, I don't think anyone would guess that this scene was from a kid's show. It's that good. And the reprise will... I mean, I don't even know what I can say about it, just... tragic. Mother knows how much I love her, but she's always doing other things. All right, time for some honorable mentions. Life After Happily Ever After is the one that started it all and is a great cast number for both opening and closing the series. Living happily ever after, after. I'd give anything as a super emotional Rapunzel number reflecting on her and Cass's relationship that I love. I won't pretend to know just what you're going through. View from up here is a bop raps and cast duet, and the fact that we got an extended version on the soundtrack makes it even better. And from up here, the world is all yours, each mountain and meadow and near. I love the electric guitar flare of Crossing the Line, as well as Eden Espinosa's crazy high note as she cuts the bridge at the end. Crossing the line. And everything I ever thought I knew is everything I ever needed from a Eugene song, one of the most emotional solos in the series. If none of it was really me, then who am I supposed to be? And everything I ever thought I knew, every hope, every feeling. But now, it's time for the best song in Tangled the Series. Moonlight on the shore. The promise of much more It drives me crazy merely thinking of you This song really lets us see how deep of a character Hookfoot is. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just kidding. Number one is nothing left to lose. The path of hate is a dangerous track. You take one step and it's hard to turn back. Having followed Rapunzel's Tangled Adventure during its season three run, few songs had a greater cultural impact than this one. It's the only song on this list to feature two characters who are unique to the show performing a duet. And with Jeremy Jordan and Eden Espinosa as those voices, this song sounds like something straight out of a Broadway show. Not like you, you lost your nerve, you lost the game, but you and I, we're not the same. I'm not lost, this fate was mine to choose. There's so much to love here. There's the subtext of Varian having struggled with what Cassandra's going through and trying to call her back to the light. There's the incredible boarding that makes the rocks dance with Cassandra as she sings, ultimately building her throne throughout the song. And of course, there's the most impressive moment in the song, when their voices finally come together to sing as the camera swirls around them, perfectly capturing the emotions at play here.
This is just a fantastic song. It's perfect for the characters, it's beautifully staged, and it's been stuck in my mind for days at a time because of its catchiness. It completely lives up to the hype and more. Nothing Left to Lose is the best song from Tangled the Series. I have nothing left to lose. Disagree? Let me know why I'm wrong in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this, go ahead and subscribe to become an official Dimension Hopper. Or if you want to get the inside scoop on what's coming next to the channel and join the Inner Circle community, be sure to check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash the second dimension. Thank you so much to my patrons for the support, and thank you for watching, and I'll see you back in Dimension 1. Oh.